Have you ever wondered about the origin of the term Trojan horse? It's a tale as old as time, dating back to ancient Greece. The seeds of this story are sown in two epic poems, the Aeneid by Virgil and the Odyssey by Homer. These poems tell of an ingenious ploy by the Greeks to win the decade-long Trojan War. A giant wooden horse was built and presented as a peace offering to the city of Troy. Little did the Trojans know that hidden inside were elite Greek soldiers, ready to open the gates of the city under the cover of night. This classic tale of deception and strategy has stood the test of time and continues to resonate today, particularly in the world of cybersecurity. Just as the Greeks used a seemingly harmless wooden horse to infiltrate Troy, modern hackers use a similar strategy. Fast forward to the age of computing, the term Trojan horse has taken on a new meaning. In the realm of cybersecurity, a Trojan, often dubbed a Trojan virus or Trojan horse virus, is a type of malicious software. Unlike other forms of malware, Trojans can't self-replicate or execute themselves. They rely on the user's action, appearing as harmless or useful applications. Yet behind this facade, they hide damaging functions. Just like the historical Trojan horse, a Trojan virus appears harmless or useful but contains a hidden attack. Now that we know what a Trojan virus is, how does it work in the realm of cybersecurity? Well, the mechanics of a Trojan virus are quite cunning. Trojans, unlike other types of malware, do not replicate or self-execute. They require a user's specific and deliberate action to infiltrate a system. Once inside, they can cause quite a havoc. Trojans can damage files, monitor user activity, steal sensitive data, and even set up backdoor access points to the system. They can delete, block, modify, leak or copy data, causing significant disruption and harm. And there's a wide variety of Trojan malware out there. We have backdoor Trojans that create loopholes in your system, banker Trojans that target your financial information, and even game thief Trojans that steal online gaming accounts. There are many more, each with its own destructive capabilities. But remember, each type of Trojan has a different mission, but they all share the same deceptive strategy. Now that we know what a Trojan virus is and how it works, how can we recognize one? Well, like the mythical Trojan horse, cyber Trojans also come in disguise, often as seemingly harmless files or software. But there are signs that can tip you off to their deceitful presence. One of the first symptoms you may notice is a sluggish system. Trojans often consume substantial system resources, leading to slower performance than usual. Your computer may lag or freeze more frequently, your internet connection might slow down, or you may experience frequent crashes. Next, you might spot unexpected pop-up messages or ads. Trojans often bring along unwanted pop-up ads that often persist, even when you're not browsing the internet. Lastly, unfamiliar programs running on your system can also be a giveaway. If you see new icons on your desktop or programs running in your system tray that you didn't install, it's likely you've got a Trojan. Recognizing a Trojan is the first step to defending against it. Now we come to the most important part, how to protect yourself from Trojan viruses. Trojans are sneaky, covert, and destructive. But fear not, there are several ways to keep these malicious invaders at bay. First, make sure your software is always up to date. This includes your operating system, your applications, and especially your antivirus software. Updates often include patches for security vulnerabilities that Trojans and other malware can exploit. Next, use reliable antivirus software. Antivirus software can detect and remove Trojans before they cause harm. But remember, not all antivirus software is created equal. Be sure to choose one that offers real-time protection and can deal with a wide range of malware. Also practice safe internet habits. This means avoiding suspicious websites, not opening emails from unknown senders, and never downloading attachments or clicking on links unless you're certain they're safe. And lastly, keep your personal information secure. Do not share sensitive information like passwords or financial details unless you're on a secure, trusted website, and always use strong, unique passwords for all your online accounts. But remember, no method is foolproof. Trojans are constantly evolving, and new threats emerge every day. So stay informed about the latest cybersecurity threats and how to combat them. Remember, the best defense is a good offense. Stay informed, stay updated, and stay safe in the digital world.